What is up everyone? Today I'm going to show you what I have on my Mio Mini Plus and I'm currently running Onion OS version 4.2 on this. And you can pick this up for around 60 to 70 pounds on eBay or Amazon and this is by far one of the best handheld emulation systems that I have purchased. Everything just fits nicely and the build quality is excellent and I just love this transparent purple color. So what I have on the Mio Mini is the Tiny Best build, which is the 128 gigabyte file package. And I highly recommend if you haven't got any ROMs or if you're using a stock to just upgrade to a 256 or even higher if you want to and start off with the Tiny Best build because that will give you about 90 gigs worth of ROMs for uh, most of the popular systems, but I've also added uh, my own ROMs on this as well. And I've put the image files uh, along with the ROMs. Uh, that's one of the good things about the Tiny Best Build is that it already has the images for the ROMs. Because if you just add your own ROMs, you're not gonna have any of the artwork and you're gonna have to scrape it yourself, which you can use a program called Screen Scraper and I do have a tutorial for that. So if you're interested to see how to put images onto your ROMs, then um, check out the link below. So what we have here is, this is the Switch theme, which I thought was kind of neat. Everything is just clean, uh, but you can change this under apps and find in the themes menu. So ton of themes, 23 of them, and I'm pretty sure you can download more on the Onion OS wiki page. If you back out here, there's some tweaks you can do so you can speed things up. You can change how the menu and UI is set up. And I've also put a video player as well on here. And I find that AVI files seem to work a lot better than MP4. You have to use a converter to um, lower the bitrate, I think, and the resolution in order for your videos to play smoothly on the Mio Mini. You can also use the Mew Mini as a music player. And here's just the apps menu. So you can, you can download some more third party apps. So you can also use this as an ebook reader. A ton of stuff here. And I've pretty much enabled all of the systems that this can handle. So this goes up to PS1 and most of the retro consoles, but not all of them. There seems to be some that are missing. There's no 3 or Sega Saturn, unfortunately. So let's check out what games I have on here. So I have Amiga. So there's all the screen screenshots on the side. Not all of them show up, but most of them do. About 90% do. So with the 256 gigabyte card that I have inside here, I have around like 90 gigs remaining on this card. And I'm probably gonna use most of it for PS1. So Amstrad, CPC. Arcade, there, there must be like several hundred arcade games on here, I'm pretty sure. Of thousand. One thing that this theme doesn't do, it doesn't show you how many games that are actually on the system, which 
might see if I can uh, change that. Atari 2600. I don't think I have any Atari 5200. Nope. Oh, I need to put the images for the Atari 7600. Atari Lynx. Got the classic chips challenge on the Atari Lynx. Well, this is in the Emma Stoss version though. If I press the, this menu button as well, uh, this is a shortcut for all your other games that I'm currently playing. It's very quick to just switch a game and it will just load onto the other ROM. I'll press it again. And switch games. Well, this is what the stock firmware doesn't have, so it's, it's super handy to just be able to like switch games that easy. Got to love a bit of virtual racing. And moving on, I don't have any BSX ROMs. CPS1, none of these have the image files. I'm pretty sure all of these should be just the arcade images, but they're not set up on this. ClicoVision, again, I need to put the artwork on there. Commodore. FDS, Famicom Disk System, which are pretty much all just Japanese ROMs. Fairchild, I don't have any Fairchild games. Game Boy ones. This is part of the tiny best build ROM selection. You can see the thumbnails are slightly different. They're laid out differently. Got the screenshot, the logo at the top and box art at the bottom. GBA. Again from the best build, tiny best build. Uh, Game Boy Color. Game Gear, I don't think this is a complete ROM set of the Game Gear, no, I probably need to change this to a complete uh, Game Gear ROM set, uh, nothing in the Game & Watch, Genesis,
in television. MS-DOS. I don't have the images set on this, but a lot of these you have to um, change the control settings. So you have to go into RetroArch and change the controls, which I haven't done yet. MSX. Mega Duck. Whoops. Nes. Neo Geo Pocket. Original Neo Geo. Neo Geo CD. Odyssey 2. Pico 8. Looks like the original Minecraft in 2D. I have a pickaxe over here. Definitely feel some Minecraft vibes on this game. PlayStation. So a lot of these were from the Tiny Best build, but I have added my own games as well. So let's try out Jackie Chan's Stunt Master. Wait, was that Jackie Chan just saying the logo name? <laughs> I never noticed that before. So yeah, a, a classic here, Jackie Chan classic. This just runs play PlayStation games really well. I just love how comfortable this feels.
So yeah, there's pretty much most of the popular PlayStation games here, but you know, I did have to add some some more that I really enjoy that wasn't on the tiny best build. We got ports here, and you can get all most ports from the Onion wiki page. SG-1000 SGB, don't have any ROMs for that SNES ScumVM ScumVM actually works pretty well Sega 32X There wasn't many games for this system Sega CD I think I'm missing Night Trap for this Sega MS This is a Bandai Super Fam, what is it called? Bandai Sufami Turbo. I think it was like Bandai's handheld game console. Don't have any for Super GFX, TG16, Turbo Graphics 16. Turbo Graphics CD. Vic 20, no games for that. Vetrex, Video Pack, I don't have any games for that. Virtual Boy, there aren't many games for the Virtual Boy. Wonder Swan, there's a handheld that I've always wanted. And last, the ZX Spectrum. So yeah, that is pretty much what I have on my Mio Mini Plus. I do plan to add more games, especially having a full library of Game Boy or Game Gear games. I'm also missing a lot of PlayStation games that I used to play. But overall, um, this is a brilliant device and I highly recommend picking this up if you're looking for a retro handheld console. Although this doesn't play Sega Saturn games and this doesn't play 3DO games or Dreamcast, uh, Wii, GameCube, N64, which is unfortunate. I think this would have been even better if this played those systems and if, maybe, maybe if they make like a Mio Mini 3, we'll be able to play those consoles. So that's just an overview of what I have on the Mio Mini Plus. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again on another one.